Hey YouTube, it's Cheddar. I am back yet to do a hair video. My prior videos I know were silly videos, but this is a hair video. Um, I know I haven't done one in a while. As you can see, I do have a protective style, but I'm not using it per se as a protective style. I am using it to do my locks yet again. Um, reason being is that my tendonitis, which is not yet uh, carpal tunnel, it's flaring up in my hands really bad and getting up trying to, at night, trying to do these uh, twist outs and all this stuff at night, every night, my hands can't take it. So, I decided to go back to um, mini twists and keep them in and do starter locks. This particular set, I think, if you've watched prior videos of mine, this is like the seventh or eighth set. For me, this is the best set. Why? Because <clears throat> my hair is itchy. But, my scalp rather, but there's really no frizz. By day three, I would have had two or three. After doing it, I would have had frizz. And day two or three, I learned over t the several times doing it not to put water in my hair. And I still get frizz. Um, yesterday, actually was the first time I put water in my hair. I had a uh, spray bottle mixed with water, aloe vera juice, and some oils. And I just lifted my hair like this, sprayed the scalp. Spread, misted the hair and just massaged, put my bonnet on, my scarf and bonnet and went to bed. I had a little bit of frizz before I did it because this is almost two weeks old and I didn't get any more frizz than what I had before I sprayed my hair. Take a look. I got my part in the way I want it. Yep, so it's 171 mini twists. Um, <clears throat> I counted them. It took a while. Um, basically, what I'll be doing is trying to retwist based on me going this long and it's still looking nice because I know at different points when I tried to do it, it might have been a week and I retwisted because it was too fuzzy and I work in the public and it's too fuzzy. So, and I know it it comes with fuzz or just installing them and I'm super fuzzy now. So, um, this weekend, actually Sunday is my 38th birthday. So, I'll probably do my hair in the next couple of days. I have it prepared for that. And then after that, <clears throat> I plan on trying not to retwist. Unless something happens between them where my scalp is too itchy or it's too, too uh, fuzzy. Uh, the first weekend of October. By that time, I'll be a little over a month in uh, because I'm going to a House Sweet to Sound concert at the beginning of October, so I need to have my hair fresh for that. So I'll probably try to just retwist um, and wash once a month. And at that point, for hair videos, if nothing changes really, I'll probably just be doing hair videos once a month. Um, and in between, of course, doing silly videos with me and the bay. Um, so what I did was my hair was already in sections when I uh, shampooed it about two weeks ago. And I used, and you've seen me talk about this before, Talia, when I, a couple of times back when I tried to do um, locking, the Talia YG's Total Black Earth shampoo. I didn't dilute it because I again, my hair was already loose. I didn't use this that day, but I will be using this, and both products will be diluted in a water bottle. And what I'll do in the shower, I'll get in the shower, rinse my hair, <clears throat> then take the spray bottle or shampoo, lift up the little sections, spray the, my scalp, massage it real good, rinse it, do that a couple times, and then I'll spray this on there while I'm in the shower, of course shower, and then rinse it out. And then I'll probably end up using a old t-shirt to um, removing the excess water out of my hair and um, while I'm retwisting if I need to retwist then I'll just use my water mixture um, so the two products that I use they gave me great results I've seen different people like um, <clears throat> Coco Film Nappy Girl 1979 Nat 0526, I think Nat 0526 changed her name. Locks and Life, I think also Locks and Life just took her locks out. Um, Cordidian Light and Dove Darby. And it's a whole bunch of other, but those are the ones recently I've been watching where they've used 
either both of these products I'm getting ready to show you or one of the other since they've had locks. Some of them have had locks a long period of time um, before even doing the video showing that. But I've watched those videos and for me, I got great results with these two products and I'll be using these two products going forward and I should have been using them because I've seen these videos before <clears throat> for my mini twist just in general when I want to do mini twists as a protective style. So the two products I'm going to show them together is my Joey Gel and Nature's Blessing. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with the Nature's Blessing because I used this first. So technically what I did, I started on this section actually. I took a rat tail comb, made my little part, pent this up, and let's just say I had this section down. With that section, I, you know, after coming, you know, I've already detangled my hair. I took the comb, combed through it. Then I took the Nature's Blessing, which looks like this. It's halfway gone because I use it in the base hair. When I do uh, redo her braids for her, when she can't get to the shop. And I was using it in my uh, hair when it was loose in my scalp. So for that little long section, I will take about this much. Rub it through my fingers. And run it through that little section that I parted. Rub it in real good. <clears throat> comb it through. With a, at that point I had a smaller tooth comb. I will just comb it through. And then while well, this is pent up. I would take this long section. And make a section to get ready to two strand twist. And what I would do is take the My Joey Gel. Which looks like this. And you see how much I've used because I was using it also on my loose natural hair to keep when I had puffs in my hair to slick down my hair and also because Bay has thin hair when I would do her braids I would use this in conjunction with the Nature's Blessing to um, give her shine and set the braid so on that one little section I would take about this much on my fingertip I would just go like this and see how it's shiny and I would just run it down that little piece and then I would take even parts separate even parts and then just twist when I got to the end do like you do when you're doing your regular twist twirl it around your finger that's all I did my hair by the time I finished this section went up and up and up by the time I started over here this was kind of damp so I just took a scrunchie pull it together and pulled it back to give it some stretch while I dry did this section did the sections back here and that was it so other than that these are the only four products I use well three products because I didn't use the conditioner those are the only products I used that day going forward these are the same products I am going to use unless another uh, styling agent for the locks come about which I did order <coughs> This one product that I've seen um, some of the same people use Coco Film, I think I'll show the Nappy Girl 1979 use and some others. Um, they've also talked about the customer service uh, with this company. So um, I was like, you know, let me give people the benefit of the doubt because those videos that I was watching were, you know, not fairly recent videos. I said, well, let me see. Maybe their customer service has changed. Maybe enough people complain and they got it together. No, they didn't get it together. I ordered this like end of July, beginning of August. You got the pay. I got the email with the PayPal that they took my money. But I ordered some other stuff at that same time, and I didn't get any other emails from this particular company. But the other companies, I got an email saying they got my money. And then a couple days, like two days, maybe three, I got email saying, "Okay, here go your tracking number. Your product went shipped." Not with this company. Um, I waited. What I was like, oh, it's two weeks. I ain't got no email, no nothing. So I went to the website. I believe it was the website and found an email. And it was the wrong email. It was the appointment email that they had set up. But it was coming back del mail deliver uh, undelivered because the appointment email was messed up. So I went into my invoice because I had so many emails to go back into my invoice. And I found the right email. And I, you know, I was nice and polite. I was like, you know, I ordered this product on such and such a date. Here's the order number, the time, um, and date that I ordered it. I haven't, I got an email saying you guys got my money, but I haven't gotten an email saying that you shipped my, 
um, product, there's a delay in it because we out of stock, none of that. So I politely said, and I think I did it on a weekend, on a Saturday. I was like, if I don't receive an email sometime Monday, stating that here's a tracking number or, or you know, something showing that my product has been shipped, I'm going to call my bank and cancel the payment and go further if I need to. Monday, I got an email with the tracking number. And, you know, as soon as you get the tracking number to come through the post office, it doesn't update on the post office website for you to see where it's at. But the next day, I was able to see that it, it, it supposedly left, I think, New York. And the product is Nubian King's Lock and Pomade. No, I haven't used it yet. It has a nice light smell. This is what it looks like. It's like a, a pudding almost, but not as thick. So I want to try this because I've seen Nubian Kings do, they, do their own um, tutorials on this. I've seen Coco Femme use it. And everybody who's, who I've seen use it say <clears throat> it's a nice product. It works. It does what it says it does. But it's just a customer service. So when I do my locks, re retwist, when I do my first uh, shampoo and retwist, I think on either, eh, what's today, Wednesday, uh, I'll probably be doing it on um, Friday. I don't think I want to do it Saturday. I'll probably end up doing it Friday, maybe Saturday. Um, retwisting my hair, and I think I'm going to use the my Joey gel in this. <clears throat> the Nubian Kinks. The Nubian Kinks, I forgot how much it cost, but you can go to, uh, if you want to try it out, NubianKinks.com. Um, Based on that like, one experience, and with me, when I'm dealing with people have, that have African-American businesses, if your customer service is not on point, I won't shop with you again. Even if the product, I like the product because of the fact that that's what drives people is the customer service. Like what when, when now, when me and Bay go shopping, if people don't greet us when we walk in the door, because I work in retail and I know what it is like a three second rule that customer entering the store, you're supposed to greet that customer. Even if you handle another customer, you're still supposed to greet that customer. So if I don't get greeted, I don't shop in your store. So. I won't be buying this anymore. I'll probably use it sparingly to make it last. But I know for sure the Nature's Blessing, because I wear it on Amazon, uh, Nature's Blessing, I wear it on Amazon.com. This is four ounces for $8.99. And I got to order some more because it's halfway gone. And then the My Joy Gel, when I ordered it from Joy Naturals, because it was cheaper to go there, I got two <clears throat> four ounce containers. So, like I said, you saw this was on, like halfway or four foot away gone. I have another whole container of this, so I'm not worried about it. <clears throat> the same with my shampoos and conditioner. I think I got a half a bottle of those. I can just go to my local beauty supply, and they were $7.99 to get that. I will also incorporate um, somewhere in there um, <clears throat> the Design Essentials. I do have some of that in my little caboodle container. Um, the organic cleanse and the moisture cleanse and the stimulating conditioner. I probably will be intermingling using that either when the Talia YG runs out or depending on how my hair feels. Because I know that works on my hair. But as far as the twisting agents, I will be using the Nature's Blessing for sure and the My Joy Gel. And use the Nubian Kink sparingly uh, until it's gone. Other than that, those other products will be what I pretty much use in my hair. Unless something changes. I want to thank my new subbies. I've had a couple of new subbies since I haven't done videos in like two months. I want to thank you. Thank my existing subbies. Um, thank you guys for watching the Bay and I Act Silly. Um, and pretty much YouTube. Until next time, talk to you later.